Oh, good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence, welcome into our day, welcome into our way. Take full control, Holy Spirit of God. The Word of God says, those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Those who, led by, those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Hallelujah. So we desire to be led by you, Holy Spirit. Lead us into the path of righteousness. For the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to be certified upon us and through us. Take full control, Holy Spirit. We submit and surrender everything that we are to you. We come on this altar of the fourth watch hour. As a fourth watch family. We give ourselves over to you. For your blessing, for your favor, for your healing, for your deliverance. For everything that is us and everything that is you to merge as one that we will produce that which favors you that which blesses you that which impresses you that which makes you happy this is the reason we live glorify your name we glorify your name O lord blessed be the name of the lord most high great and faithful is the holy one of israel great and faithful is our lord our god our savior and our king hallelujah Hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords. Great is our God and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your voice resounds like thunder, O God. Lord, let your voice thunder in our ears this morning. Let your voice thunder in our hearts this morning. Let your love envelop us this morning, O Father. Mm. Oh, come and manifest yourself, O God. Come and manifest yourself. Come and manifest yourself, Lord Jesus. By your Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Great and faithful is our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of all praise. You are awesome. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We praise your name. We honor your name. Oh, Father, visit the Fourth Watch family this morning. Visit every member of this family, oh God Almighty. Visit and change. Visit and clean up. Visit and sanctify. Visit and glorify yourself. Let your almighty presence be rich and powerful, awesome and mighty in every space and every place. Oh, Father God, let every principality and power, every spiritual wickedness in high places, every strong man be served. Notice this morning that the Fourth Watch family is off limits to them no touch no in, in infiltration no de delay no derailment no denial let them know serve them notice this morning that this army of the fourth watch family is in fine fickle that like the army that you gave to gideon oh god the 300 i thank you lord god almighty that this 300 will war in the realm of the spirit hallelujah with the backing of your angels and we will be victorious we are already victorious we thank you lord that we are victorious against sickness and disease every ailment every infirmity we are victorious against them poverty lack and insufficiency we are victorious against them generational curses we are victorious against them witchcraft hallelujah oh father god every kind of spiritual attack in whatever form it comes we are victorious against them in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we are victorious against broken families broken marriages we are victorious oh god against abuse against rejection against abandonment we are victorious against unforgiveness we are victorious against trauma oh god almighty against every kind of abuse physical verbal psychological emotional we are victorious against them in the name of jesus christ and so i prophesy side this morning on this prophetic Wednesday that we walk in the victory of the Lord. We walk in the victory that the Lord God Almighty has died on the cross to give us. We live and move and have our being in that victory. We are victorious against every kind of attack from the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are victorious against 
Hallelujah. Against living in rent house. Yes, Lord God, I thank you for our own homes. Oh God, we thank you for our own transportation. We thank you, Lord, for our own jobs. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for our own businesses. We thank you that our businesses that we already have will flourish, will expand, will increase. We thank you, Lord, that this fourth watch family shall be a family that is an example to all others. Oh God Almighty, even to other Christians, that they will look on and say, why does it seem like God favors them? What are they doing that we are not doing? Lord, give us the secrets of how to flourish and to prosper in the midst of a storm. Give us the secrets, O God Almighty, as how to flourish and prosper in the midst of death and carnage and evil concupiscence all around us. Give us the the, 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 the formula, O oh God Almighty, as to how to shift our atmosphere to change things rather than things changing us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are the sovereign God who has all powers, that nothing shall by any means defeat you. Everything must bow at your feet, for your name is above every name. And at the sound of your name, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we thank you this morning that because we have chosen of our free will to accept you as our Lord and Savior, then we must walk in the fullness of your glory, walk in the fullness of your blessing, walk in the fullness of your authority and dominion, walk in the fullness of your power, our answer Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning your family your fourth watch family comes to you and we say God why are we not seeing the breakthroughs that we're, you said we should see why are we not doing the things that you said we should do oh God teach us how to see what we should see to do what we should do to be who we should be that you might be glorified in the times and seasons of our existence in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Lord we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. We're sick and tired of being broke, busted, and disgusted. We're sick and tired of being half a faith or faithless. We're sick and tired of not seeing the victories that you died to give us. We're sick and tired, oh God Almighty, of seeing our families in disarray. We're sick and tired of seeing our nation, our communities in disarray. We're sick and tired, oh God. And so this morning we prophesy that your word is true, that your word says we are the head and not the tail. And so we prophesy that we are the head this morning. We prophesy that we are the head today. We prophesy that we are more than conquerors through you who love us. We prophesy that today every serpent and every scorpion is trampled under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy today that we have power over every power of the enemy. Every power of the enemy that is infiltrating our workplace, our home, our businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy today uh, that today is the day when the devil must back up. Uh, today is the day when the devil must know uh, who we are, uh, that we are more than conquerors through him who love us, uh, that we can do all things, including defeating Goliath. Uh, and so this morning, we cut off the head of every Goliath in our lives, uh, every Goliath in our family, every Goliath in our home, in our health, uh, every Goliath in our business, uh, every Goliath blocking us and, and, and delaying us from coming into the fullness of who we are. Every Goliath against everything that God says we have and that we are, we come against those Goliaths this morning and we prophesy, Goliath, today you die. Today you die. Today you die. Don't ask why. Just sprout wings and fly. Today you die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that we are victorious and we will walk in it. We shall not live and die without seeing the victories that the Lord Jesus Christ promised us. We will not die as pauperized in spiritual things and natural things in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so today we claim our victory, Lord. We prophesy today is our day of victory. Today is our day of breakthrough. Today is our day of, of, of fulfillment of promises in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, we prophesy that today your word must come to pass. Your word says we are the head and not the tail. Your word says we are blessed beyond blessed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says if we look to you, we are radiant and our faces will never be covered with shame. Your word says we are planted in your courtyard and we are like palm trees and palm trees can weather storms. Palm trees can take water up to the, to, to, to the, to the, to the, the pinnacle and still survive. Lord, you said we are like the cedars of Lebanon. 
glorious and wonderful, strong and powerful, mighty, rooted and grounded, uh, and cannot easily be destroyed. Oh, Father God, we are protected by your angels. We have the Holy Spirit of God in us. Therefore, we have the benefits of power, the benefits of anointing, the benefits of your glorious, wonderful Shekinah glory upon us, in us, and through us, in the name of Jesus Christ. Then, Lord, therefore, we declare that something must be missing while we we are not living the way we're supposed to being the way we're supposed to and doing what we're supposed to but today we prophesy oh god that it is changed it has changed today we walk in victory today we walk in love today we walk in power today we walk in the fullness of the anointing that you have given unto us oh god today we say victory in jesus christ victory in the fourth watch family victory in the fourth watch hour in the mighty name of jesus christ we will not come out of this hour this morning. I prophesy to you, we will not come out of this hour this morning with any demonic oppression. We will not come out of this hour this morning with any failure, with any failings, with any unforgiveness, with any rejection, with any foul, unclean spirit. Every foul, unclean spirit that sought to come upon us last night through familiar spirits, through sexual spirits and dreams, spirit husband or spirit wife, any spirit that tried to confuse us or to take us back to the place where we once were that God has moved us from. We cancel that this morning. We prophesy today that this is our day when we shed off the old clothes like blind Bartimaeus and we run to Jesus' victory. We run to the glory of our God and our Lord and our King. Today is the day when everything that easily besets us even in our thoughts that is the past. We shed it this morning. We take off the old crown and we put on a new crown. We take off the will frown and we decide to smile we decide to laugh we decide to give God all the glory the honor and the praise and so God Almighty we ask you this morning wipe away all the bad memories wipe away all the things that keeps us in the past uh, in Lodi Bar and set us on a new pathway to the future where we will celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus Christ give us a new mindset oh God where we do not see difficulties as difficulties, but we see them as weights to strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Give us a new mindset, O oh God, where we do not see the negative in people, but we see the opportunities and the possibilities. Give us a new mindset, O oh God Almighty, that our SWOT analysis, our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, our oh God Almighty does not reflect and focus on negatives, but on opportunities to go forward and be the best thing that you have created for this time, for the purpose of re 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 restoring our families, restoring our communities, and restoring our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, we prophesy this morning that because you have said it, it is so, and we are more than conquerors. We are victorious. We are the blessed and highly favored of you, and we receive it, and we believe it in Jesus' name. Amen, and amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord Most High. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome into this Fourth Watch family devotion. Welcome into the, the, the space and the time and the season of every person in this Fourth Watch hour, wherever they are located all across the world. Oh, Father, in whatever time slot, visit even now and cause an anointing oil to be poured upon every head, oh, whether they are present now or are or, or, or delayed. Oh, Father, every household, visit even now. Now, visit and bring glory visit and change story visit and shift atmosphere visit and change lives oh god almighty visit in the name of jesus christ father you said if we ask we will have it and if we seek we will find it and if we knock you will open unto us we wake up this morning oh god almighty asking for blessings and favor asking for your presence asking hallelujah for you to be manifested in our lives we are seeking more of you we're coming to your 
throne room. We're coming to your throne room because the veil has been rented. And so there is access to your throne room. And so we're we're coming to your throne room. We're seeking you. We're searching through the maze that the enemy has created to try and keep us apart from you. But we keep walking, we keep pressing, and we keep going towards where you are. And we're saying, Lord, we will not give up. We will not stop. We will come and we will find you for what you have is what we need. What you have is what we desire. What you have is what we cannot live without, oh God Almighty, because we have looked around and we have seen what the world has to offer. And what the world has to offer is nothing compared to what you have to offer. Just your very presence, oh God, is more than a blessing to us. And so God Almighty, we are asking and we're seeking. We're knocking for we are at the door now. Oh, great and sovereign God, we're at the door of your temple. We're at the door of your heart. We're at the door of your presence. And we're knocking and saying, Lord, let us in that we might flourish in your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Change our circumstances today, oh God. Shift our circumstances and cause an uncommon increase to be our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we might be a blessing to others. That we might be an impression Oh, Father God, hey, a role model of righteousness, holiness, and truth. A role model of those who trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who know their God. Father Daniel was a role model because he knew you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was a role model because they knew you. Oh, Father, Peter, Paul, James, John, Stephen, Philip, and many more were role models only because they knew you. They were nobody, nothing insignificant. We would never know about them. People 10 years after they die would not know about them had they not known you. And so this morning we cry out to you, God. We cry out to you. It matters not how much money we have or don't have. It matters not where we live or don't live. It matters not what we have to wear or don't have to wear. If we do not know you, we can never be the role model that will last two generations. And this is our desire to be a role model that people aspire to be like, that people ask how they can get to know you in the same way, how they can get to do what we do in the way we do it. And we want to be just like you in the name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, let it be so this morning. Let it be so, O oh God. Pour upon us afresh. Pour upon us afresh. We commit and submit to everything that is you. And we ask you to pour out all of you into us, that we might pour out all of you into others. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So good morning, good morning, my family on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. On behalf of Prophetess Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade saying, hey, glory to, hey, glory to God. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Sister Nicolette Buckley, I need to know what's going on with you. Uh, there were some things that were happening last year. Uh, yes, please uh, make contact. I need to get an update on what's going on in your life. Come on. Hallelujah. You're a part of the Fourth Watch family and there were some things that started, some conversations that started. I need to understand what's going on, what we need to pray specifically to make sure that it is staying on track or on track or if a new direction needs to be found, then we need to know what's going on. So don't keep me in the dark. Don't keep us in the dark. Let us know what's going on. If it's still joy and glory and, and heading in the right direction, hallelujah, we will give God glory and move right along. But if not, we need to know what to do. Don't, don't keep us in the dark. Amen? Glory to God. That's what family does, man. We look out for each other. Amen? So um, send me a message and um, and let's, let's, let's talk and see what's going on. We want to know. We are interested in what's going on in the lives of God's people in this Fourth Watch family. We don't always get a chance to respond quickly. And, and while I'm on that subject, let me just quickly state, hallelujah, as we say good morning and welcome to this family. Guys, we've been saying this both Pastor Marsha, Prophetess Marsha and I, from day one, we are a family, sincere and genuine. It's not talk. 
we're a family. It therefore means that family will not be perfect. We will have some issues. We will have some situations. There, there are things that family will say that you don't agree with. We have said it before and I'm reiterating it. That when we, if we say something and you don't agree with, you have a different revelation. You can share that revelation so that we can learn too. Maybe you are right and we are wrong. We don't know everything. God is the only one that knows everything. We speak, we live and move and have our being learning each day from each other. Amen. Glory to God. And we have never tried to say, hey, we are the author. We are the finisher. We are the, 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 author, the, 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 the repository of all information. And anything you know is wrong. And only what passed away and passed away know that that is right. No, we have never had that posture. And we have always had an open door where we can talk about things. So that's one thing. The next thing is, hear me carefully. Please, I beg you. If you send a prayer request, if you send a message, if you send some kind of communication and ask, please don't ever think that you are the only person that is communicating and that it, if, if you don't get a response same time or if you don't get a response, that it is because you're not important or we don't care about you or whatever. Please, I beg you, do not let the dopey of the devil convince you of that. There is no such thing. It is not true. It's a lie. Do not let the enemy convince you of that. Press in because sometimes family, family big, family is big and every person in this family is important. You hear me? I am telling you this from my heart and I'm begging you, do not let the enemy into your life because all he wants to do is separate you from the force, from the source. He wants to pull you out of the fire. God has given us this family to, to pray up each other, to support each other, to comfort each other, to be there for each other for birthdays and deaths and sicknesses and prayer time and, 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 and enjoying our testimonies. God has put us together. I feel the presence of the Holy One of Israel upon me. And so the enemy will come in and he will try to say, you know, see them only care about some people. You know, see them only mention some people. You know, see them only pray for some people. He will try anything because all he wants to do is this destroy family in the same way he attacks your children in the same way he attacks your spouse in the same way he tells you you know sister you're not going married you'll never marry you know sister nobody in your family don't marry you know sister you're poor you know see you'll never be rich you know sister you know sister you know sister this is no different guys this family is no different please do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil i beg of you i beg of you do not allow the enemy. If you leave this family and decide that this family is not for you, it must be because God has said to you, listen, I want you at a higher level. I want you to be better. I want you to be different from where Fort Watch is. That must be the only reason you leave. But do not leave because you feel hurt or you feel uh, abandoned or you feel like you're not important. or you feel No, that's a lie from hell. You are valued. You are loved. That's why I make you see how long I pray each morning. I could go into way more word. I could spend more time trying to teach, but I would leave some people behind. I don't want to leave anybody behind. God put the 99 in a space and tell them, stay there so, because I'm going for the one. And that's the principle on which we, through the Holy Spirit, have established this ministry. And that's how it's going to be right until God calls us home or until he comes. We're never going to change that. And anytime you see us look like we're going off in a different direction, we give you permission to call us and say, hey, 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 come on now. I see you going in a direction that don't look like what you promised from day one. Straighten up and fly right. And we'll say, Mwah. love you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And come back around and straighten up again. That's what family does, man. Family must be able to tell family, listen, you're not act right. Come on, you're not acting right. And we get it done as family. Amen? So please, watch out for the enemy. Do not be ignorant of his devices. Two things. If you hear something and it sounds different from what your pastor preached or what that thing there and you don't understand, it sounds like foolishness, make a call, send a message on Messenger, something and say, Pastor, I don't understand this. Explain. Because this is how I understand it. This is how my pastor teach it. Whatever, whatever. We're not perfect. Amen. And we get it done. Because it would be nice for you to be able to teach me something. I want to learn. Hallelujah. And I also want to make sure that each of us understands what it is that we're about.
It's about family. Building, growing, strengthening, rooted and grounded together to accomplish what God wants to accomplish. One accord so that we can flourish and prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers. Amen. Glory to God. I hope you get that. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody testimony. Okay. So guess what? Hallelujah. We have a testimony from one of our sisters. I'm going to play it for you. And I want you to just listen carefully. This is just such an awesome testimony. Hallelujah. That I got yesterday. Um, just listen. Hallelujah. Make sure that it's low maximum. Okay. Ready. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, Marshall. Wade. How are you doing? Um, blessings. On top of blessing. You know, as Christians, I just want to share this little thing that happened today. As Christians, me, I am talking about myself. I complain about what I'm going through, my different illnesses that I'm going through, and um, the amount of medication that I have to take daily. And when I look at it, sometimes I feel depressed. But what I've come and do is that each time I've taken it before, I dedicated medication to the Lord. And you know, sometimes we do falter. And today I'm in a program. I'm in a program with a called cardiac rehab after doing those couple procedures that I did in last year, you have to go in rehab where you have to go like twice a week or three times a week to exercise. And this morning I was there and there was a man, today was his first day. And after I finished my session and he came across, he was sitting down and I went to pick up something and he said to me, you know, I'm looking at you and you're doing so sorry about that. And he said to me, um, I'm looking at you and you're doing so well. I wish I was where you were. And he was asking me if it's a surgery I did. So I tried to explain to him that I didn't do a surgery. I actually did um, two stent replacement, one in April and one in June. And you know what he said to me? He actually opened him up. His chest to go in to do surgery on his heart. I think maybe it's a bypass surgery he did. And he said to me, in which he was where I am. And I'm going to come home back and I was saying it to my husband. I said, look at that. I get up every day and sometimes I complain so much. And look at it. Somebody want to be in my shoes where I'm at exercising. Mm. Do you, you understand what I'm saying, Pastor? We, we complain and sometimes we don't look at the, the blessing out of it where you do to somebody. Or, you know, and I, I said to him, I said to him, it has been a long road, but I am getting there. And I said to him, but God, and I said to him, I think I said to him, but God. So I'm just saying to you that, you know, we, we need to tell ourselves, we need to stop complaining. Because me know I am that. Because I've been through a lot last year to this year. I never knew I would have lived to see even this day. Because, but because of God's goodness, his grace, his mercies, and somebody want to be in my shoes. Mm. Look at that. Somebody want to be in my shoes. Pastor, blessing, blessing, Marsha, blessing, blessing, blessing. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. What a God. Mm. What a God. Sometimes it is not the, the good health and the wealth and the prosperity and the good success mm -hmm. that God will give us so that we can be grateful. It is just the fact that even though we're going through, we're in the valley of the shadow of death mm -hmm. and we're going through, but somebody is just starting. We are halfway up and somebody is just starting and they're looking at us and saying, my God, I wish I was where you are. Mm -hmm. But where you are, you are saying, my God, when will I get through this? God, what's going on? God, have you forsaken me? Why has thou forsaken me? I can't manage. This is too terrible for me. And you don't even realize that you should be saying, God, I thank you that I once was way back about a mile and a half down the road, but now I'm a mile and a half up, which means I only have a mile and a half to go. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, that you have carried me this far. Oh, Father, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Paul says in every situation and circumstance, everything, give thanks. And if we learn to give thanks in every situation, man, oh my goodness, someone will be encouraged by our thanksgiving in the midst of the troubles, in the midst of our circumstance. God takes greater pleasure. Hear me carefully. I'm telling you something from the heart of God. God takes greater pleasure in blessing those who are grateful 
even when it seems like they have no reason to be. God takes greater pleasure in blessing those who are grateful even when it seems like they have no reason to be. You got that, guys. And so there is never a situation that we shouldn't be grateful for. If you feel like you're going through and you want to say something that you know when it comes out, it's not going to paint God in a good picture. It's better to hold it in your heart and think about it and talk to God in your mind and say, God, mm, if I open my mouth, I'm going to say something negative and I don't want to say anything negative. And say, so, Lord, I bless you. Oh, God, it hurt, but I bless you. Oh, God, I'm disappointed, but I bless you. Oh, God, I was expecting this rent to come, but I bless you. Lord, I didn't expect to owe two months mortgage, but I bless you. Lord, I didn't expect that my cupboard would be this empty, but I bless you. Lord, I expect that as a child of God, I would be in better health, but I bless you. Come on, somebody. That gets him excited. That makes him operate with us like he did with Job. He will say, have you seen my son, Darset? Have you seen my daughter, Sean? Have you seen my daughter, Carrie Ann? When God says that, it is because we can push through every situation. We will not curse him and die. Amen. And so this woman of God has gotten a lesson. God used even her sickness or heart surgery to show her that he is with her and that there are others who are jealous of her relationship with God. They wish they were at that place. We not only want to get there, but we want to be in a position to be able to say, I am here today because God kept me. I'm alive today only because of his grace. Because sometimes that's a sermon that will make someone want to know your God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Father, this morning, let's just, just, just pray for a, a, a few minutes for a, a, a few people, a couple of people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of, oh, my goodness. I have not announced a new person for quite a while. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to do this. We're going to pray first, and then we're going to... Um, uh, just big up this new person hallelujah so let's get into prayer we're interceding for some people for patricia for omar and for jackie hallelujah we're praying for these persons now so just begin to pray and just say lord patricia omar and jackie you know what's going on with them lord have mercy upon them those of you who can pray in the spirit let's intercede in the spirit for these people so that they can get their breakthrough so that they can follow through the valley of the shadow of death and not fear because the armor of god is round about them in the name of jesus christ so father we just thank you this morning that our daughter patricia your daughter patricia hallelujah is is concerned is worried is fearful oh god almighty that she will be forced to take the vaccine and she is not sold on taking it her personal position her personal position lord is that she does not want to take the vaccine but her workplace desires to force her to take the vaccine based on the industry that she works in and so god almighty i thank you for peace i thank you lord god almighty for your favor upon patricia lord whatever way you choose to work this one out we're leaving it up to you because we know that you can turn that vaccine into your blood in that case and you can find her a new job in that case you can cause them to, to, to just skip over her in that case there's so many different ways oh god almighty that you can bring what she desires to pass in the name of jesus christ lord if you know if you know lord and we know you know all things that there is something in that vaccine that will harm this woman of god and i'm not saying vaccines are bad or any of that that's not what we're praying about god we're just saying to you your daughter this morning has asked us to come in agreement that she is not forced to do something beyond her will when nebuchadnezzar and the, and the kingdom of babylon tried to force hallelujah Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to worship a false god, to accept something that they did not want to accept. They cried out to you and you answered. They cried out to you and you did what only you 
could do. You are the same God. You have not gotten tired. You have not gotten old. You have not come off the throne. You have not gone to the bathroom and you're not taking no coffee break. You are still sharp. You are still just as awesome and powerful and wonderful and mighty and true as you were for Daniel, for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, for the armies of Israel and every other person that you came through for. So Lord, we are asking you this morning, come through for this daughter of God in the same way that you came through for you are no respecter of man lord if you have a better job for her that will not put her in that uncomfortable position then god almighty do it for her like you did for shadrach meshach and abednego cause her god almighty to understand that you are her protector and her deliverer give her peace in this situation in the name of jesus christ cause a miracle to come to sister patricia so that she might be at peace in the name of jesus christ also father we thank you as Sister Patricia has put forth her uh, uh, brother Kenroy Henry, brother Kenroy Henry, Lord, we have been praying for him and he has started to pray, but he's still struggling with unforgiveness and trauma from his youth. Father, this morning we prophesy that your spirit will touch him in this season, O God Almighty. Your benefits will be transferred to him. We pray for salvation for brother Kenroy Henry in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, as he prays, we pray that you will visit him visit him in the name of jesus visit his heart lord cause him to be uh, to, to to embrace unforgive to embrace forgiveness in this season in the name of jesus that the trauma will leave him because the trauma is linked to the unforgiveness and the unforgiveness is linked to the trauma and so god unforgiveness is worse than the trauma the trauma you can deal with just like that but the unforgiveness is what he holds on to the trauma holds on to him but he holds on to the unforgiveness and so lord help him to recognize and to understand that if he releases the unforgiveness to you that the trauma will go with it and he can be who you have called him to be so touch him lord visit him lord speak to him lord do what only you can do in this situation concerning him as we stand in the gap and stand in agreement with him for salvation for forgiveness for deliverance for healing and for restoration that kenroy henry will become the best thing that you have created for this time for the purpose of rebuilding his family and his nation in jesus name father we lift up omar mix before you this morning omar we lift up omar's family before you this morning omar mix was recently shot and killed was murdered in montego bay oh father god his family is in distress he was supposed to travel overseas to, to, to find a new life Everything was set up, ah, and he was unfortunately under strange circumstances set up and murdered. But Father, we thank you that in this season, you could have caused those shots to miss him. You could have caused him to be, be shot but not killed, but you allowed him to be taken home. We pray the peace of God upon his family, mm. the peace of God upon his brother who was looking forward to just having him in the business and working with him. He's distressed. Lord, we pray your peace. We pray forgiveness as well, God, that there will be no reprisals, that mm -hmm. blood will not be on other innocent persons' hands because of this traumatic, demonic activity. Mm -hmm. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that the spirit of murder will be arrested over Montego Bay, over Kingston, over all of Jamaica. That spirit of murder, that spirit of kidnapping, that spirit, oh God Almighty, that has been prevailing over this nation. We bind them this morning in the name of Jesus. Every principality associated with murder and rape and kidnapping and abuse, God Almighty, we're seeing videos of men beating women with stools, beating a woman with a stool, I don't care who it is. I'm not interested in who it is. A man beating a woman with a stool. God, that's the devil. Jesus Christ, we cry out to you, God. This is what our men are using their strength, their physical strength to do. To destroy the help meat that you have given us. God, we need your help. We need your help, oh God. We need your help because the heart of the king is in your hands and only you can turn it the way that you desire. And so, Father, as you 
Have mercy on Omar Meek's family. Have mercy on this nation. Have mercy on the other Jamaicans across the world that are worried that their family members are exposed to this principality. Bind in the name of Jesus Christ. We can only cry out to you for the authority and the power and the dominion to bind as you said we can bind. To tear down as you say we can tear down. To wage war against the principalities and powers. We as a family come together this morning and we say war against the Goliath of murder. War against the Goliath of rape and kidnapping and sex slave trade. War against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let fire be upon those who are, who, who are, who are under the, the, the influence and the manipulation of Lucifer and his demons. War against them, O oh God. War against those who pick up gun before they even wake up in the morning. Because their gun is like their girl. Their gun is like their God. War, God. Let those guns turn to fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those knives turn to fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those cars that they're traveling in, waiting to kidnap and to transport children and women and even men to places where they don't need to be to do damage to them, to kill them. Lord, let those cars set on fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they may recognize and turn, that they may realize that there is a greater power in the universe than the power that they have submitted to. Father, if not you, who? And if not now, when? Have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us as a nation. Have mercy on us as a world. Have mercy on the elect that you have caused to be alive at this time. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So the mixed family, we speak the peace of God. We prophesy the peace of God into your life. And we speak peace to your heart that you will forgive and continue to love even those who committed this heinous crime. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ for justice. Let justice come to this family, O oh God. Let exposure, revelation of who hatched the plan why this was done let justice be done for justice and truth must be ours forever in this jamaica land that you love in jesus name father we lift up jackie crawford to you this morning we declare that jackie is blessed and highly favored father we speak your peace into jackie's life we declare that this jackie oh god almighty is a mighty woman of valor a woman of God, a woman of peace, a woman of joy. Oh, Father God, convince her by your spirit that she is more than a conqueror, that she's more than who she thinks she is. Lord, even that which she's focused on, even that which she desires for you to do in her life, I thank you this morning, oh God, that you will do the exceedingly abundantly above all she could ask, think, or imagine. I declare the name Jackie Crawford in the realm of the spirit, in the atmosphere, and I declare that anywhere that she's chained to, anywhere that she's locked behind, I cut off those chains and I tear off those doors right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that Jackie will flourish, she will pray prosper. She will run and never be weary and she will walk and never faint. I thank you that Jackie will run through troops and leap over walls in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you have taught her hands to war and her fingers to fight. That she will come forth and be counted. That she will stand up and be an example and a role model to her family, to her community and to her nation in the name of Jesus. I bless Jackie to be a blessing, oh God. As of today, everything that held her in the place of the position where she shouldn't be, I tear it off of her now and I release her to flourish, to prosper and to be in good health even as her soul prospers in Jesus name Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much guys for standing with us in prayer as we stand in the gap for our family members in Jesus name. Glory to God we believe that God has heard and he has answered and now we want to welcome Sister Anne Marie Annie Annie, 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 A N N I E. Please help me welcome Sister Annie. I know you are not. Ah, God Almighty. Hallelujah. We haven't done this in a little while. And I'm no, I know that many new people have come on and it seems as if we have uh, gone away from welcoming. No, we have not. As long as we are put in, in, um, in touch with those persons, as long as we're told, we will always create an opportunity to welcome and to bless 
uh, the persons who come on you. So Annie, hallelujah, we are glad to have you. Welcome to the Fourth Watch family, the Fourth Watch hour. We are truly a family that gathers around the altar of the Lord in the Fourth Watch. And it is when Jesus came to the disciples, hallelujah, and brought miracles, signs, and wonders to them. In the fourth watch, Peter walked on water. In the fourth watch, they experienced the miracle of Jesus stepping into the boat, and not only was the storm calmed, but they immediately moved from the middle of the sea to dry land in a smart. And so the fourth watch is when miracles, signs, and wonders are available to those who believe. And so you have come into a family that, of believers, a family of faith, a family of love, a family of power, a family who believes and understands that the spirit of the Lord is upon us as the spirit of wisdom and understanding, as the spirit of counsel and might, as the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. We flow in the fruit of the spirit and we manifest the gifts of the spirit for the glory of God. Hallelujah. So welcome, Annie. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord prosper you. May the Lord give you strength. May the Lord reveal himself to you in uncommon ways. May the Lord bless your family, your children and your children's children. May the Lord set you on a pathway that will cause you to always be ahead of the enemy. May his, the benefit of his Holy Spirit be so evident to you that you always take advantage of every situation that comes. Hallelujah to be a blessing and to be an example, a role model to those who are looking on to you as a child of God. Be blessed and know that it is well for you are Annie, hallelujah, and not your granny. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Bless God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Annie, they, I don't know if they warned you, but sometimes we misbehave here and it's not just me, yeah, man. <laughs> My wife misbehaved too. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we like to have a good time. Hallelujah. Okay, so I want to get into a little bit of word this morning. Hallelujah. And uh, the word comes from uh, this week we're doing, hallelujah, more information. Okay, glory to God. Yes. Um, uh, this week we're doing the benefits, the benefits, the benefits of the Holy Spirit and the advantage that that gives us. And so this morning I want to look at a few verses in Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60, I don't know how many verses we'll get through, uh, we're actually doing from verse 1 to verse 5, that's what we're looking at, so if, you, if we don't get to verse 5 this morning, you can look at that yourself and just see what God is saying to you. Remember, when we go into the scriptures, we don't go into the scriptures from a three-dimensional perspective, we go in from a two-dimensional perspective, and so everything that is happening in the scripture we immerse ourselves in it and so god is always talking to us if it is something that is a rebuke uh, we, we look at that and we say god am i in that position or can i be in that position later help me never to be in this position where you are rebuking whether the children of israel a person a king whomever we always immerse ourselves that's how revelation comes when you immerse yourself in the space of the scripture so god or the prophet truth for god is always talking to us personally and so we recognize wow this is us that God is talking to so on that bit on that note hallelujah hey glory to God we look at Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 5 and the first verse says arise foot watch family don't look for in the Bible for foot watch family you won't see that um, but as I said just now we are immersed in it so God is talking to us Amen? All right. So arise, Fort Watch family. Shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And so this morning when the sun comes up, it will rise upon the entire, this part of the hemisphere, because there are other parts that when the sun comes up for us, it's night for them. Our sister Sharika in Australia, oh, Lord of mercy. When we are experiencing sunshine, she's experiencing night gone to sleep and so god is saying to us arise for your light has come so light has come to us now and it is not the light of sun it is the light of the glory of god our light has come our light comes in darkness because it is only in darkness that light really has great value god is saying the dark times of your life hallelujah has now been lit up for my light has come to you as you arise as you open your eyes 
you recognize that you have the prize of the light that has come. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God says his glory, the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. That glory there, that Shekinah glory there is the glory of power, the glory of blessing, the glory of love, the glory of joy, the glory of peace, the glory that the woman of God testified this morning about. Glory that does not necessarily mean that you will miraculously be healed, but that glory that says that I have chosen you to walk in my glory, that someone else can be encouraged even by how you are going through your time of peril your time of trial, your time of sickness. That is a demonstration of God's glory as well. And so we can get through anything. When we say out of the scriptures, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. We think that it is to defeat all the enemies. We think that it is to win every battle in the way that we think winning is. Come on, somebody. But this woman of God has testified this morning that winning is going and fighting through that which would discourage anybody else. She could say, Lord, I give up. I want to come home because this heart thing, this, 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 this heart thing is just too terrible for me to carry. But how would she, if she did not get dismantled, how would this person be encouraged by her strength? Heart disease is regular for most people, for, for so many people, too many people. Who ministers to them? If all of us who have the spirit of the living God, and I don't, I don't want any of God's children to have a heart, heart problem or to go to heart surgery. Don't get me wrong. I don't want it. But guess what? God is sovereign and he's the one that makes the decisions. He's the one that makes the decisions. And so if you have been chosen for that mantle, to carry that mantle, to have that issue, or even if you have not been chosen, but God will work it together for good because heart disease or heart problem or kidney issues, diabetes, hypertension is in your generational bloodline and it was not broken before it came to you, then God will still use that together for his glory. Because one who has not had a brush with hypertension or diabetes or heart disease or any of these things have it more difficult to encourage one who has it. You don't know what I feel in. You know when my pressure go up in the nights and feel like my, like, like my head is about to explode and my, and my heart a beat fast. You don't know that. You can't encourage me. You don't know that. But when I come alongside and I say, let me tell you, man, sometimes I wake up and I feel like my veins are exploding out of my head. I feel like when you touch them, you just feel the vein, the blood that is pumping through. You feel the heart beating fast. You feel like you're on your last parados, as we say in Jamaica. You're about to die and you don't know why. And you feel like you want to cry. But God says, don't because you shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. And when you thought that you were at the end of the road, God just extend more road. He just hardens the water under your feet. Hey, come on, somebody. And you move from being one that was ready to give up to one that continues the journey, to one that exercises after heart, heart surgery. Come on, to one that walks on water when everybody else would sink. And so we have to know, arise and shine for your light has come. And that light will give you the opportunity, the strength, the power, the vision to see, to go, to be, and to do beyond what others thought that they could do. And that will encourage others to live and not die. And that's what God wants. That's why he has chosen you, guy. That's why he has chosen you, girl. Hallelujah. So that's the first verse. The second verse says, See, darkness covers the earth, and the thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord raises, rises upon you. So God is saying, look around. We just prayed for some person. We prayed for one guy who was murdered. Darkness is upon his family. All they see now is pain and darkness. I, I looked at darkness in the, in, the, um, in, the, in the Hebrew. And darkness here is, uh, uh, what's this? Um, koshek. 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 That's the, the Hebrew word for darkness. Koshek. And it means confusion, uncertainty, ignorance destruction my god hallelujah death sorrow wickedness oh god should i tell you that again darkness don't just means night darkness just don't don't just doesn't just mean the absence of light darkness also means confusion 
So when someone is confused, they're in darkness. When someone is uncertain, they're in darkness. When someone is ignorant, well, we, we, most of us know that. So if them say you're darky, you're ignorant. Hallelujah. In Jamaica, we say it at least. Um, ignorance is darkness. Destruction. When things are destroyed, I'm saying, why I'm at a dark place in my life. Everything has been destroyed. Hallelujah. So destruction is darkness. Death is darkness. Eyes closed, never to be restored. Death is darkness. Sorrow. When someone is going through sorrow, like Omar Meek's family is going through sorrow, that's darkness. And the, 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 the wickedness that was portrayed, that was pushed upon Omar's family and so many other families. The wickedness of this man beating this woman with this stool, punching her countless times in her face and in her head. That's wickedness. Wickedness. Hallelujah. And it is not only violence. We're just using that as an excuse. That is wickedness. Wickedness is gossiping. Wickedness is telling lies. Wickedness is disobeying God. Wickedness. But that is darkness. So when we disobey God, when God says, go tell this person that they're to do X, Y, Z. Go tell this person that I love them and I want them to come into my kingdom. And we disobey. That's wickedness. And that's darkness. My God. I hope we're learning because I'm learning too this morning. So that's the darkness. And then, then, then it says thick darkness. Thick darkness. So the, what I just described was the regular darkness. And then there is thick darkness. That's the darkness that originates in our heart. The Jesus said that the heart of man is deceitful above all else. That's the first darkness. And desperately wicked. That's the thick darkness. Come on, somebody. That's the darkness that is so... That, that's like what's happening in a lot of instances now in Jamaica. And that's why we... Um, the, the admitting what is happening is not accepting what is happening. Admitting what is happening is saying, I will not accept it. I will push back that darkness. So in the, 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 um, the Hebrew gives you a, a, some other definitions that says, when the cloud of darkness, it gives you an example like rain. When the cloud of darkness is closer to the earth, that you almost can touch it. You can see it. It brings fear. It brings a, an ominous kind of, of, of presence. That's the, what's, what is called thick darkness. So when the clouds are high but dark, you say, oh man, it looks like it's going to rain. But when it's close, when you see it cover the mountain, when you see it almost at the rooftop at your house, you're like, whoa, 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 hey, 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 ah, this, this, this looks serious. This look like it's going to be a hurricane. This look like... So hurricane clouds are different from just normal rain clouds. And so thick darkness is that, that sense of wickedness. Like when what some persons who live in inner city communities, at-risk communities, that hear gunshot every day, those children are living under thick darkness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They are living under thick darkness. So we live in Jamaica and we live far from it, but we see it on the news. That's darkness. We see the sorrow, the wickedness. We hear it reported. We drive down the road and we see some things happening, but we're not directly impacted by it. So the thick darkness and wickedness will reach to us from that perspective. But the people who are in it, can you imagine? We had an accident a couple um yesterday or day before yesterday where, where, where a bus crashed in the back of a truck and persons died. And I'm saying to you, thick darkness is when that bus was about to make contact with the back of that truck and the driver saw it and knew it. Oh God, my heart bleed for them. Sorry. This thick darkness. When he saw that that was going to happen and there was nothing he could do, his life was about to go from him and he probably didn't know Jesus. And the other people were in the bus who had no control. They couldn't steer the van out of the bus, out of the truck. They would just sit there and scream. They could just sit there and scream. That's thick darkness. But God has given us the opportunity to speak to those people, to tell them before the thick darkness comes that, listen, while darkness is there, let it be an example of what we must stay away from. Because when thick darkness comes, it's too late. It's too late. Jesus. Hallelujah. But God says to tell you that even when darkness comes or when thick darkness comes, hallelujah, the Lord rises upon you. The Lord has risen upon us and he's saying, go and push back the darkness and go and push back the thick darkness. For I have prevailed over darkness. Remember when Jesus was crucified at nine o'clock in the morning, it became dark, pitch dark. Night came into day and it was so for about three hours or so. 
Hallelujah. But then light came. Light came back because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and he's the light of the world. That light is now in us and it is permanent. Darkness can only prevail and thick darkness can only prevail over communities, over the lives of families if we do not shine our light. If we do not find the places where darkness are and go brighten up and let them know that the Lord has risen upon us and light conquers darkness every time. If we don't minister to these people and give them an opportunity to accept the life of light, then darkness will be upon us as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to do one more verse today. Not verse 3. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Are you hearing me? It is not just, you see, God makes sure to say this after he encourages us to go out and fight the darkness. After we go out and fight the darkness, tell people about Jesus. Come on, find strategic ways. We should be praying. People who live in America, in England, I'm not afraid to call them name. People, those of you who live in America, uh, England, and Australia, and those first world countries, Europe, that think that them don't need Jesus, that Jesus is, is, is public enemy number one. They're fighting against him. Them trying to get him out of the place. And if you call him name, they want to kill you. They want to fire you. They want to do all kind of things. Those anti-Christ countries and anti-Christ places. Yes, I am saying to you, ask God, pray and diligently ask God for strategies of how to light up those thick darkness don't just give up don't just be a part of the status quo don't just be a part of the system Fourth watch family member if you are a part of this family don't just accept darkness don't just turn on a light in your house and say boy my, me and my family have light that means them have got to try to find a way to get it right we are locked up tight as long as it's not in our sight no that's not God we're saying, get into your prayer closet and seek first the kingdom. God wants light to shine for everybody. At least an opportunity for them to see that light. So start praying, God, help me to find a strategy to tell the people about you at my workplace. Help me to find a strategy to be the light that shines that even they see from my light and ask me how they can get it right. Don't just give up and say, boy, them the one God, yeah, make them go on to hell. No, that's not God's heart. He does not want that for us, for our family members. So he says, once we are doing that, he says, nations, come on, read verse 3 again from the perspective. Hallelujah. He said, nations will come to your light. Oh, glory to God. America will come to your light. Come on. Britain will come to your light. Come on, somebody. Australia will come to your light. Come on. Canada will come to your light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Sister Kadeen. Start to shine light, not just in the industry where you work, but so that men in Canada, women in Canada, children in Canada can see that light and say, no, she has it right. I want that sight. Hallelujah. Because right now they think it's by might or by power. But it's not. It's by the light of the spirit that we have. So nations will come to that light that we shine. It might seem like you're getting a fight in the first instance. And, and don't, 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 don't worry, I'm wrapping up now. It might seem like it's coming to a, to, a, to a head and you're getting a fight. But God says to tell you, nations will come to that light. It's because Satan knows that nations will come to that light. He never says people. He says nations that are more than people. Come on, somebody. Nations will come to that light if you continue to shine it even when someone tries to block it out. When the darkness comes down and tries to overshadow your light, when it perseveres and breaks through and breaks out and expands, nations will come to find out. He says kings Kings means prime ministers, presidents, leaders of industries, leaders of churches who don't have no light will come to find your light and they will come to the brightness of your dawn. Because you know, dawn is when the day starts, right? As the day, as the light dawns, light comes before the sun. We come before the light of the sun because we are the light of the world. Because Jesus, who is the light of the world, lives in us hallelujah mm -hmm. hallelujah hallelujah i hope that 
if you've never seen the scriptures like this, if you've never been immersed in the scriptures like this, that today marks a new day for us as a family being immersed in the word and realizing our responsibility to the world as a result of being immersed in the word. As we're in the word, our light will go forth and it will make a noise that nations and kings, presidents and prime ministers will call and say, can I have some of your light? Because you have it right in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you this morning for your revelation, for the manifestation of your glory. Father, may we become light that the world will see. May we become the light, O oh God Almighty, that nations are drawn to and kings seek after. May we, O oh God Almighty, take advantage of the benefit of the light of the Spirit, the oil that can never run out, that fuels the light in us. May we see the dawn and be the dawn that others may know that we carry your presence. We carry the answer to their problems. We carry the answer to the darkness that prevails over this world and the thick darkness that prevails over your people. Have your way, O oh God. Teach us how to be who you desire for us to be, that we might strategically be able to infiltrate and take back what the enemy has stolen from your people. May we light up the darkness and the thick darkness that is over this world, over our communities, over our families, over our lives. And may we flourish and prosper and be the light of the world as you desire for us to be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll try to finish verse 4 and 5 and give you some more of the words, um, the, the, the Hebrew words that uh, are appropriate. But now it's time for communion. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I hope that you were blessed by what the Lord has done and said this morning. And I hope the peace of the Lord will prevail in our hearts for his glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this family that you have gathered. We thank you for your hand, your good hand, upon each and every member of this family, that as you touch us, O God Almighty, we will be transformed, that the light will come on, not just in our eyes, not just in our hearts, but will come on so brightly that it shines through us and from us, that others may see and find the pathway to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, one of the ways that that light is brightened and is, is heightened, oh, Father God, and light up the darkness of this world is when we eat of your body and drink of your blood. And so, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask you to search us even now. Search our thoughts, search our words, search our actions. See if our thoughts have not been according to your will and purpose. See if our words have been curses and, 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 and negative instead of blessings and peace and joy. Oh, Father, see if our actions have been obedience and love instead of disobedience and, and, and pain and wickedness. We, we repent, O oh God Almighty, for wherever we have gone off course and wrong, and we ask your forgiveness and your cleansing, your unrighteous aligning in Jesus' mighty name. Sanctify these emblems, O God Almighty. May they be to our body strength, health, prosperity, and good success. Ah, God Almighty, may they be life-changing and transforming that we might truly represent you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it, he broke it, he gave it to the disciples, and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. Likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat of his body and drink of his blood, we do it in remembrance of his death, burial, and resurrection. 
until he comes. We look forward to the day when our Savior will burst through the clouds and come to take us home. But until then, we must represent him as the light and push back the darkness. Tear down the principalities and powers, every spiritual wickedness in high places, every rulers of darkness. We must tear them down. We must shed light in the places of darkness that others may see and come out from under the dark places where they have been held captive in Jesus name. Let's go like Abraham and set Lot and his family free. Let's go like David and recover all. That's our, our task. That's what God has called us to the kingdom to do. Let's do it and do it well. That he might say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Drink ye all of it. Hallelujah. We rise up like the eagle this morning. May the Lord bless you to rise up like an eagle. Hallelujah. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Blessings and favor, I declare and prophesy over you today. Health and strength. As you go, go with the peace of the Lord. Go with the favor of the Lord. Go with the light of the Lord. For his glorious light has come upon you. May you flourish. May you prosper. May you be in good health even as your soul prosper. May your business prosper. May your jobs prosper. May the work of your hands prosper. May your families prosper. May you indulge in only what God has purposed for you to indulge in. May creative ideas and witty inventions be your portion. May enlargement and expansions of your borders and your territories, your business and your, 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 your plans according to the will and purpose of God. May nothing be missing or broken in your life, in your family, in your community, or in your nation. Because God is with you and you are the light that shines the way for others to see. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Go forth, my family. Have an amazing day. God's way for well, our God, God has already shaken everything, everything that, that is evil out of, of your day. day. His way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus, Jesus love, love you. And we love the whole of our own too. God bless you, my family. Shakata sandu di vianda da kata. Reko sati ku shikandata. I bless you in the spirit. Mande ku tatu shikatule kasata. I prophesy to you in the spirit, in the tongues. Zaku shikanda. Rakando de hu shikatato. Rianda. I send you off with the Glorious angels, in the keto, Randa kapo shika, Rivasi kute, Rinda katatori anda, Bebo shika baha. Receive the anointing of God, the mantle of glory, in the baku shika tapaku, Roku sakanda bahai. Hey, go in His glory, Eda bakasangu di bianda. Hey, the. The glory of the Lord is falling upon some of you right now, right now, right now. If you will believe it, the glory, 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 the glory. Receive the glory, receive the glory, receive the glory. Hey, a visitation is taking place now, 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 now. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, mm. Jesus, hey, mm. Mm. hallelujah, 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 oh, what a God, what a God, what a God, what a God, carry that presence, carry that glory, shine that light, hallelujah, hallelujah, bless you, bless you. Love you guys. Have a great day. Woo. Hey, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hey, hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Mm. Hey. hey, Jesus. Hi. My God. Mm. My God. Oh, God, you're Hallelujah. awesome. You can move mountains. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Hey, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, there's something about that name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. He has come with us to share. 
Hallelujah. Do not fear. The presence of the Lord is here. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Be mindful, cognizant of his presence today, for he is with you. Don't do anything that causes him to have to step back. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Preserve his presence today because miracles, signs and wonders, blessings and favor, breakthroughs will follow you today, will work for you today as you embrace his presence. Just literally talk to God like he is right beside you, like a family member today because he has come to be with us. Hallelujah. God